Wasn't that what we're supposed to see? So we were glad we made this decision. After our breakfast, we head off to our next destination, which is Syracuse, which was about an hour and a half drive from Cauta Giron. And it's a very touristic spot. So we actually stayed just outside of the main Ortigia Island. And the area we stayed in is also where all the tourist bus parks because there's limited traffic towards the Ortigia Island, which had a lot of the monuments, the cathedrals, the piazzas. And this is also the part when I realized how how intense Italian drivers are because at one point I was trying to cross the streets and this Italian sitting at the bar was screaming at me did a hand gesture to like go faster um, and this is also when we learn to cross the road with confidence because it's unlike Canada where cars would stop for you and then you cross it's more like you just cross and the cars would stop right in front of you as you walk so the trick to cross the road is just like go with confidence and trust that they're not gonna hit you and this is why I don't think I could have driven because the cars would just like go 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 it was so intense so I'm really glad that guys did all the driving and I just helped them with navigation so the island of Atesia is where most of the things happen and that's also where we went and it was a short 10 minute walk or so from our bed and breakfast and it's surrounded by the sea with beautiful historical historical monuments and it's very walkable with a lot of the things to see and do and it just had this beautiful historic and charm and vibe which was one of the highlights for us on this trip. So the next day, we head off to Catania, which is about an hour drive from Syracuse. It's also where we stayed for the next two nights because the location was pretty central to many of the things surrounding it, like Mount Etna and Taramina. While we didn't go to Mount Etna, we did make a trip to Taramina the second day. So we spent the first day exploring Catania. And to be honest, we didn't have high expectations for Catania because it's a big city after all. But Catania actually 
is full of history and charm and it's very walkable and there's so much amazing food and things to see and we have so much gelato that at one point i was really questioning my lactose intolerancy Next morning after our breakfast, we took a bus to go to Taormina and we were so glad we made this choice to take a bus instead of driving there because it was so easy to get to the bus station terminal in Catania and the whole ride was about an hour or so and the bus actually dropped us off pretty close to the main area of Taormina and along the way if we were to drive we'd had to pay for toll and going up that hills and windy roads of Taormina would have been pretty challenging for our small little compact rental car so we were glad we made this decision and it was just 850 euros per person round trip which is amazing. One of the popular things to go and see when you're in Taormina is to go to the Isola Bella which is this cute little island that's at the foot of Taramina and Taramina the main town is actually up high in the hills so it was kind of out of the way for us so we didn't make our trip down to check out this island and if we had stayed there for maybe a night or two then we probably would go and check out the island as well but because it was a day trip for us we just spent the time there exploring the main town so because of the elevation of Taramina there's this 
amazing view of the Mediterranean Sea as well as Mount Etna. And the highlight for me personally of the entire trip was the teatro. So when you're inside this theater, the stage is designed so that it has this magnificent view as a backdrop of both the Mediterranean Sea and Mount Etna. So while I was there, I was imagining what it's like in the ancient times when there's a play or something on the stage and in the background you get this amazing sea view and if there's any volcano activity from Mount Etna, that would be just like so amazing. It's always nice to go out there to see more of the world, to experience other cultures and to learn more about the people and the history, which always reminds me that there is no single right or wrong way to live life. And this mainstream narrative that we've been told growing up that happiness comes from climbing the corporate ladder so that we can make more money, to buy more things, to accumulate more material possessions, and then we'll be happy, which I don't think is true. At least for me, happiness doesn't come from any of that. This whole trip to Sicily was amazing, but the happiest moments was really to do simple things with my partner and spend quality time together. Something as small and as simple as having gelato sitting in a piazza, those were the moments that I truly treasure. And I'm so grateful for those simple moments and this entire experience. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.